Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm very pleased to present you to today's video is about the Mary Can Do method and this method has been incredibly transformative for me and that's why I decided to share this video. This is my workspace which is normally quite messy and packed and cluttered with things and bits and pieces of inspiration. In here is a box filled with sketchbooks, a few folders with pictures and inspiration that I like, um, sandals that I want to do a painting of, and that's my board. My art materials are in the drawers, those are my paint brushes, that's my pens, and in a small travel pencil case, case with pens, pencils, rubber topper, just the basics. And then my pencil case with all the extra little bits and pieces that I pull out and use all the time, like glue sticks. And those that you just saw on the screen are some oil cranes, which are quite dirty to put with the rest of the materials. Here's a closer look of what's in there, as you can see. Markers, glue sticks, all the normal bits and pieces you could expect to find in a little art space. But this method has been massively transformative. That one question, what sparks joy? Does this spark joy? And it really ca caused me to ask the very simple question and be very clear about what things I did and didn't want in my creative workspace. And I used to think it had to be cluttered. And now I really have a space that's very clear and allows me to think and be creative and not be cluttered by other people's ideas. Here's inside the other drawers. You have um, different art materials in both drawers that are both very useful and effective and all the art materials I use regularly. I also kept my sewing machine and I kept my sewing equipment, which is like text, textiles, printing stuff, sewing equipment, fabrics, and I've kept some lights as well, which you can see in the side. And that's all of it. That press used to be all full. And now that's all of my sewing equipment just there. I used to have a lot of art materials and sewing materials that used to take up a lot of space. And now they take up only a little bit. Here's my bookshelf. So all of my books are here. This bookshelf used to be full of books and even spreading onto the floor as well. And now it's just got two shelves and even a little space for some decoration. So I'm very proud of my bookshelf because they're all books that genuinely spark joy. And up here is just a little bit of decor. That's what I like about this method is you can add in little, little features that you like. On top there is my bags and things like that. And this is my wardrobe. I used to have two wardrobes, but there are small wardrobes, admittedly, but now I've got one small wardrobe and my clothes are very nicely organized. Obviously, it, I do struggle to color, put the colors together, but that's because there is quite a lot of colors, but I'm very happy with it. And it allows me, like I say, to add in little pieces of art. In here is my shoes and some tech things, some paperwork, and a box with my underwear and socks. And um, the shoes are very good in there because in there they're safe from harm and dust free. And I like that. I like to try and look after my things. Here's my knitwear, my loungewear folded and nice and neat. And here you can see my socks and things all nicely rolled up and in their own little homes, which is, has never happened before. So I'm really, really, it's really nice to look in and see that. In the kitchen, massive transformation as well. I didn't stop at just my studio. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now. Happy being creative.